It's in my hand. And Lord, I'm not just going to be one of those hypocritical Christians that sit there and say, I know God inside and out and I know the Bible and live a life opposite of it. Because see, for me, it's a privilege, it's an honor to be considered and called a child of God, a man of God, one who walks in His ways, although sometimes I stumble, but one that walks in His ways, one that follows His Word, His Word, not this Word. This Word screwed me up, but this Word. Is this Word counterculture to the, to the world? Absolutely, 100%. That's why you hear, Tebow sucks. Tebow sucks. <laughs> because people don't know this. And they live a life opposite of this. God came into the world born of a virgin. As a little baby, yes. That little baby today, no. Grown man sitting where? Grown man sitting where? At the right hand of God. And what's Jesus doing right now on this very moment, on this very day? Exactly right! He's interceding on your behalf! He's interceding on your behalf for all of those who are in faith with Him. For those of you who are not in faith with Him, He's condemning you. He's chastising you. He's throwing you down. Because he asks, you have to be broken in order to build back up. That's why I always laugh at the person that's like, ah, I got God. I can do whatever I want. I know God. Dude, you're too prideful. <laughs> no, 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 God, God can't get in there. You're too prideful. You're too arrogant. Too prideful. There's no humility inside of you. You're not born again. You're lying to yourself. For all those that continue to lie and uh, believe and, and want to and say that they're a Christian, but they're not. And you know that they're not. You are on your way to hell. That is a fact. Does that mean you have to stay on that path? No. You're living and breathing today. You can have a relationship with God. Ask yourself, what is in my hand? Is it the joint? It's in your hand. Is it the alcohol? In your hand, look. On a big arrow, look. It's in your hand. Fornicating. Well, you know where that's at. <laughs> that's where you're at. And that sin is separating you from God. That sin is separating from you, God. You cannot and do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. No matter how much you want to convict your twisted and, and confused brain up, you don't. But for those of you who have surrendered and saying, you know what, I am a man of God. Not because I'm going to live a life morally, but because I'm going to live a life holy. Why? Because he says, be holy for what? And whose I am. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather together in your name, Jesus. You are the one, Lord, that has died on that cross whose blood was shed. Whoever puts their trust in a life of obedience into you. God, you're the one that knows the hearts of each man and woman here today. Lord, whose lives are maybe far away from you. Don't even know you. God, I ask that you embrace them and love on them. As John 6.44 states, no one comes to the Son unless the Father draws them. You would be drawn to the cross. For the Christians that are here today, God, today is a day of celebration that you came into this planet to die for us. Although we'll have joyous times with family and friends, but let us never ever forget the reason of celebration. It's in the name, Christmas. May we be that light of the fallen world. And may we live a life of obedience as you declare. And we be holy as you are holy. I pray all of this in the mighty and the powerful name of Jesus of Nazareth. And all in agreement with this good state. Amen. Amen.